Live Kabbalah is a nonprofit organization founded for the distribution of the wisdom of Kabbalah and its values. Learning the original principles of this wisdom can reconnect us with the true values of our society, including the belief in the dignity and freedom of man, democracy, and the freedom of speech. Hello everyone, uh, this week we are in Parashat Shemini. Shemini means on the eighth, eighth day. Eighth day to what? It doesn't say. So, because it doesn't say, we understand that the number eight is the center of this Parsha. What is eight teaching us? We know that in this world, the number is seven. Seven seas, seven heavens, seven continents, seven days, seven colors of the rainbow, a lot of sevens. And the number seven symbolize <clears throat> this world, the here and the now, the frame of human life, consciousness, seven. When we mention eight, is one above. And one above means that's the energy or the frequency the state of mind of a miracle. What does it mean a miracle? The Hebrew word for a miracle is Nes, and it's coming from the word Lanus Velit Noses, which means to flee, to go, to run away, and to find yourself up and above. So that's the meaning of what is a miracle. A miracle is something that is running away from the regular frame of reference, state of mind, thinking, and where? Up and above. And that's what a miracle is about. Getting out of the frame of nature. Why? What is the context? The story is as follows. We know there was Mount Sinai revelation. That was on Shavuot, seven weeks after the Exodus. Mount Sinai revelation, there was total unity among the Israelites, and a total connection to the endless light. End of death, end of misery, end of suffering, everything was one. Completion, total completion. Forty days later, the sin of the golden calf. We lost it. It fell down to earth. Back into the frame of cause and effect. Back into the the uh, frail, frigid, kind of fragile area of human life. It can finish and any second. You have no idea what you have one day, you don't have the other day. That's what human life is about after the sin of the golden calf. Back into work and then a second chance. On the new moon, the month of Aries, it followed, which we're talking many months later, less than a year. Moses and the Israelites finished the building of the tabernacle. What is the tabernacle? This is the portable temple they had in the desert. We spoke about it in during the parashot of the book of Exodus, the end of the book of Exodus. But the tabernacle did more than just being a building, a house of worship. It was a way to connect the community together. To become one. And he did the job. The problem is, they build the materials, the parts of the tabernacle, as it says in the Bible, as God said. What is the problem? When they try to put it together, it doesn't, it doesn't come together. You know, you, build, you, you, buy a, you buy some furniture, like people buy today, in a box, pieces. And you come home, and you put them together. And sometimes it doesn't come, it doesn't stick together, it doesn't fit. You have to go back and replace it. However, here, the instructions were from God. So they know something, it's not God's problem, it's our problem. So they try to put it together the first day, second day, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, doesn't come together. On the eighth day, that happened to be, on the new moon of Aries, the head of the month, the new moon of the head of the month, first day of the biblical calendar year. And what 
It did. It gave everybody the ability to get out of the old frame of consciousness. That there is a second chance, a third chance, another chance to get out of the box. And when they come to put the tabernacle together, this day, everything came together. So, many times we try to put our lives together. And it doesn't come together. So we try again. Then we think something is wrong with us. Yes, we think in a wrong way. Therefore, our life is not coming together. So we have to change ourselves. Because the Creator gives us all the pieces. Always. All the pieces we need are always in our hands. Just what is needed is to change, to get out of the box. To change the way we see things. And in what way? Love your fellow man as you love yourself. How do we know? When it says in this parasha, in Leviticus, uh, chapter 9, sorry, chapter uh, 10, verse 23, and it says, And Moses and Aaron came to the tabernacle. But came in Hebrew, you can say vayavo'u, plural, you can say vayavo, both means came. But there's a difference in Hebrew for plural and single. It says, Vayavo, single, as one. When you have that state of consciousness of being one with everybody, with one, with the creation, and the createes of God, the people that were created, then you'll always be able to have that quantum leap from number seven to number eight. Ab high, up, fling up and above and then everything comes together the result the fire of God came from above and consumed the sacrifices on the altar and then it says and the whole nation saw the glory of God and everybody experienced that like there was no sin of golden calf like there was nothing that separates the people from God. Everybody experienced again Mount Sinai revelation all over again. A second chance, another chance. What is needed is just to let go of the past and move on. Because there's always a connection from the Creator to us. The question is, do we connect back? Because we have to let go and let God and achieve that amazing connection. It didn't last for some reasons. That is not the, it's not the place. And the reading and the learning is to help us how we can be free of all of this what enslaves us, that I can't, it's impossible, it's illogical. How do we let go of that and connect to total freedom, to a level that the whole nation experienced that prophecy not one person, and he told it to everybody else, and then take it or not, take it or leave it. This is how everyone can. So have a great week, and do your best. Study, connect, everybody can do it. You too. Thank you.